Hey guys, I'm here and today we are back on Sims 4 for fi finally. Uh, <laughs> I thought you guys might want to do something um, uh, different to um, Cosmic. So I'm doing a Sims 4 build. Now this is actually quite close to me because it is a Cornish unit and you and I am from Cornwall, from the UK, and these things are, well they're not everywhere but they are there's a lot of them around. Seriously, there are. <laughs> and, um, so the story about the Cornish unit. They're actually from, I think, the Second World War. It's either one of the World Wars. Just, I think it's the second one. <laughs> um, so, because there was a lot of um, damage from the World War, uh, people decided to set up small temporary houses and the Cornish unit is that house uh, but they ended up lasting like up until now because they're still around and they're probably like some of the best houses in Cornwall uh, you can see me having uh, you can see me just playing around with the roofs because the, the big thing about the Cornish unit, the most distinct thing, is the roofing. Um, it's it's a it's a room in a in a roof. That's what they call it. So, well, it's a lot of rooms in a roof, but <laughs> uh, so, but this one that I've built is actually quite different because it's got this little bit out the front. Usually, you, Cornish units don't have that. I decided to put it in because I was following a blueprint for the outside but I didn't follow it on the inside because building real life houses in The Sims is an absolute nightmare so <laughs> I didn't follow it exactly. Um, I did actually put it put the whole house on one end of the lot and I did a little park in this little square on the left because Again, with Cornwall, there's parks everywhere. <laughs> I mean, I shouldn't complain because seeing parks is is really nice. Here's me just trying to figure out what texture to put the roof as. Uh, but yeah, the cottage unit isn't the prettiest house in the world. Um, I mean, that they're, they're kind of all right, but they're kind of not at the same time. But yeah, they're, they're not the most attractive house, but they were only supposed to be temporary. They, they were never actually meant to, to last this long. So, yeah. Um, I did struggle with the floor plan because just trying to fit in everything. Because this is actually two houses in this one Cornish unit. Um, so I did struggle with actually doing the floor plan because each house is actually quite small especially the upstairs, you can see the upstairs it's really small and I did manage to fit in two bedrooms into each of the house into the, each of the houses um, but <laughs> it was a struggle and the upstairs did end up being exactly the alike well not exactly, not with the furniture but the layout uh, upstairs with the two houses which I wasn't really happy about but. I wanted to try fit in as many bedrooms as I could. Here's me just playing around. <sighs> they ended up being exact. <laughs> Which, yay! Absolutely great. Here's just me allocating each room. Toilets are the toilets, the tables are the dining rooms, the stoves are the kitchens, and the chairs are the living room. And obviously, we've got the hallway in the front as well. I really really did try to make sure that these didn't look exactly the same. Really did try. Um, but the one on the right, I ended up doing it as the furnishing that is, as quite a modern take. Well more modern than the, the one on the left. I did actually have the one on the right this end um, as, as, as a family house but then I ended up changing it to a single parent, a single mum with the furnishing but 
you can change that if you wanted to because I'll probably put this on the on my gallery uh, but yeah it did turn out quite well if I do so so myself I'm not a furnisher I'm not an interior designer I'm, yeah I, I'm I struggle with furnishing a little bit because I, I just I just can't think of what to put most times I look at people like Marvel Lad and um, Avalon, 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 and I'm just staring at their builds, and I'm just like, oh my god, I wish I could build like that, because people like that are just amazing. Uh, but yeah, I, I just get really annoyed when seeing people like Mama Lad uh, builds because I'm just like, this makes me feel like nothing. <laughs> Um, so yeah, this first house actually is suitable for having a pet. As you see, I've got a pet bowl there. So that is coming on in the kitchen for that house. I did this build actually quite different to what I usually do. I, I did each house one by one, so doing the furnishing and the walls and floors at the same time which I don't normally do for some weird reason but I did it this one and it actually works out quite well I mean <laughs> I hope it did anyway <laughs> uh, just the dining room for this house and now into the living room I didn't put a TV in this in the living room, I put it in the dining room for some reason, I don't really know. <laughs> I don't know what I do for most of um, my furnishings. Also guys, you, I'm obviously commentating over this and I don't normally commentate over Sims 4 builds. If you want me to actually commentate over these builds, do tell me because I want to know. Um, I do also have another Cornish build coming up, um, so hopefully we can get that out soon. But I do have it planned. I'm just really going out with my heritage right now. <laughs> <clears throat> so yeah, that's coming out soon, hopefully. We're just playing around with the outside. I was actually looking at Google Images and uh, I was coming up with the outside design for uh, for the house. Just looking at images on Google Images. That's a tongue twister. <laughs> So yeah, both of these houses have two bedrooms, one for adults, one for, uh, I did a toddler in this house and a teenager in the other house, or a child. So it does have two bedrooms, one is extremely small in each. You see that on the left right there, is, is it two by, two by four? It's really small. So, yeah, this room ended up being really blue themed and the adult, uh, the adult room in the other side ended up being very pink, so I don't know, I'm not going for the, the masculine and feminine here, I'll, I wouldn't do that, but I wasn't really happy with this uh, room, but I was looking at the, the time on my recorder and I was like this is getting too long and it is, it is a 16 minute video which isn't the best but my new editor, my new editing software that I use now it only does, it only speeds up videos so much so it ended up being a 16 minute video so I do apologise for that and I apologise for my internet when I upload it. So, <laughs> I mean, I did manage to get the Squeakers video up 
quite quickly. And that was a 30 minute video, so hopefully, fingers crossed, I can get this one up quite quickly without problems. So we're just doing the upstairs bathrooms. Now this side of the ha uh, building only has one shower and that's in the ensuite. I don't know why I did that. As per usual, I never know why I do stuff. Um, but the other house does have a shower downstairs and a bath upstairs. So that is all good. So yeah. So we're on to the second house now second part of that uh, building. Now I just want to clarify, I don't actually live in a corner's unit. <laughs> so I'm not building my own house here. Now I, I know I said that they are everywhere in Cornwall, but I don't actually live in one. I know that's kind of ironic, but I don't. Now this kitchen ended up being very white themed. I don't know why. As per usual, I mean, you know, you know, you guys know what I'm like. I never do what I, I never know what I'm doing. So, <laughs> uh, we did have the gate in the very corner of that room, so I, I tried to um, cover it up as best as I could. So I put in a cabinet in the dining room and that tall cabinet in the kitchen because the gate was coming through the wall which I, which was great but it was the only gate that matched the, the fence so <laughs> I had to, to compromise this is the living room now it's, it's relatively small I mean when, look, when you look at like a normal English living room that's actually really small it's a 4x4 four four, which I know that everything in this build is really small but I mean Cornish units are actually pretty big but it's the thing with um, building real life houses on the sims they never end up being exactly the same so it's it's unreliable to build a real life house in the sims so yeah i just mostly focused on the outside when looking at photos i didn't actually look at photos for the inside or the uh, the blueprint that i started out looking at but failed so here's me actually putting in the the coat rack now you see that there is a male coat rack i actually changed that to a female so it's a single mum who lives in this house. See this very, very pink room. Well, it's not very pink, but you know, it's up there. It's up there. <laughs> now I did put the uh, the chest, the uh, the. Tr I did put the drawers in the window in both the houses, but it's it's kind of like the logical p place to put it. So I just went with it. There we go, there's me changing it. I was like, this room is way too pink, but I don't want to change it because it looks nice. So let's just change the actual downstairs to make it match the upstairs. Now, I this this second house is actually, a, I would say probably a lot more pricier than the first house. So I would say that the mum has quite a good job and they go out on holiday a lot and because there is photographs in the living room downstairs of like various locations around the world so I thought why not have them as like a, a holiday loving family so I also put these pet photos here because I was like we could have the teenager want to be a vet. So I put them there and I think we're at, oh, we're coming up to the end. So this is the final bathroom. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's me putting in the bath. 
yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope you liked the change of pace from my usual uh, cosmic videos so just doing the gardens now so yeah i thought it was it was a good change from <laughs> me doing cosmic videos for the last two weeks which yeah you know i apologize for but i i really enjoy cosmic and yeah, I really, I really am enjoying Cosmic, and it's giving me the views. So I've got it. I gotta love it. <laughs> yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this this video. You, you learn a bit, you learn a bit about my heritage. <laughs> so, ah, <sighs> and you learn a bit about Cornwall, which is kind of, it's not an unknown place in the UK because it's definitely a holiday destination. But it's kind of unknown throughout the world if you if you don't live in the UK. Cornwall is definitely well known for its beaches and its rain. You know the two t totally go together really well. But anyway, the video is about to end, so I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next one. Mm -hmm.